worship. You shall find a call to worship uh, in your bulletin and also on the monitors. Let us read together in unison. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Our hymn of praise this morning is Lift Every Voice and Sing, stanzas one and three. You will also find them printed in your bulletin this morning and they will be on the monitor as well. And we ask that you will lift up your voices and sing to the glory of God. Our scripture reading this morning is coming from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7. We're going to begin at verse 1 and read just a few verses. Matthew, chapter 7, verse, beginning at verse 1. The word of God says, Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thy own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out this, pull out the mote of thine of thine eye? Behold, a beam is in thy own eye thy hypocrite. First cast out the beam out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Five verses of Matthew 7. At this time, Deacon Stevens will come and lead us in our morning prayer. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, the maker and creator of all things, Dear Lord, we come before you this morning, Lord, most humble way we know how, Lord, asking you to again come within this building, Lord, and have your way. Lord, we thank you, Father, for allowing us to wake up this morning, Lord. You touched us with your mighty hand of love, and you yes, guided us yes. on our way. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord, you even gave us clothes to put on our back. Have mercy, Lord. Automobiles to drive. 
food in our pantries. Thank you, Lord. Dear Lord, we thank you for those blessings for them. Thank you, people Lord. today that if they had to say they had something to eat, they wouldn't have it. If they had somewhere to sleep, they wouldn't have it. But Lord, you have blessed us beyond that. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing in our lives, Lord. We thank you, Father, for protecting our children, our grandchildren, yes, yes. our family and friends. Thank you. Lord, please continue to go with us throughout the remainder of our program. Bless our pastor, Lord, and strengthen him as he gives us words for encouragement. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. You may be seated. All righty. This time now we're going to uh, have our, black, our moment in black history presentation. I'm going to let Verity come up first. I thank God for it. Um, on your monitors, our grandson, Tamari Hopkins, has wrote a book, and it has been published. Amen. And the title is, I Give You My Word, A Big Brother's Advice for the Younger Crowd. Amen. And she just wanted me to say something about that. It's, you can order it on Amazon, and it's $3.99. No one really taught me how to draw. I kind of taught myself how to draw by practicing a lot and a lot. I entered two art contests in the past, um, both of which I had won somewhat. Um, the first one was last year when I was in fifth grade and I won the reflections contest. The most recent one that I won was the anti-drug calendar of 2022. And that one, I also won. Um, I just really like drawing and drawing what I see. My artwork takes about 30 minutes to an hour if I'm trying to get it done, but most of the time when I'm painting or trying to make something that's really detailed. It takes me a couple days. Um, but it's worth for the good artwork. So Michaela just had a few pieces. Her, she's, she just does it um, whatever. Whatever's on her mind is what she draws. She doesn't like draw from anything. And she's been doing it all over my house and all over her mom's and dad's house. She has a lot more paintings. I started drawing back in preschool, and I've been perfecting the gift that God has given me ever since. I attended the Fine Arts Center for three years. I spent countless hours studying the drawing techniques of many artists, and I practiced drawing almost every day. I create my artworks with a technique known as sketching. This entails using different types of lead pencils to create the realistic effect. Some call this technique sketch photography. I primarily enjoy drawing people, and, and particularly African Americans. 
Today, I brought a few of my favorite pieces that I would like to share in person with you. Okay, show that one, yeah. Okay, so this one is a drawing that I did for my grandmother, Ella Grace Brockman. And it's a picture of her from a, like a good bit ago. Yeah, and okay. is one of my favorite drawings that I did of Will Smith and he is one of my favorite actors so that's why I drew him. And then this drawing I did of Martin Luther King for my mom because she said that she wanted to put it on her door for her door decorating contest. And yeah, it turned out really good. So that's one of my favorite ones too. <laughs> and I also was in the drug calendar, oh, the calendar contest and I won first place for the sixth grade. And I don't know if they have, yeah, that right there. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I won first place for that. So let's give all of them another hand, even though Tamaye is not here with us. But we do have some talent and, you know, people do what's on their mind and what's on their heart. And so we may have somebody who does poetry in here, somebody who, who does hair, who does nails, what have you. But it is um, art. Um, and so thank you, uh, you all, for sharing with us today. Um, a little bit about next week, um, and I'm not going to take too, more, uh, too much more of your time. Um, but next week, we want to, um, again, do a march. Uh, what's going to happen is we won't have like a little presentation here, but after service, when service is over, um, we would like everybody to like uh, congregate out in the front steps. We're going to have a little skit from one of our um, older youth. <laughs> I would say older youth, young adult. Um, and, and then we're going to march around the church, and then Reverend Bantley is going to come back and dismiss us. What we would like for you to do is bring a poster or something kind of to resemble what they did back in the day, what they're still doing today as far as marching um, for a cause, and you can write your cause on your poster. So next week, wear your favorite uh, Black History t-shirt. As long as it is not offensive, um, you can wear, uh, I can't tell you what else to wear on the bottom, just decent and in order, but um, definitely your favorite Black History t-shirt. And this t-shirt my sister, my sister did for us. Um, I only gave her like a two day notice, but this is one of Michaela's paintings, so a lot of times we'll put her paintings on a t-shirt. Um, and so my sister did this one for us. But if you have any more questions about next Sunday, um, I think this month has been good, um, educational, and um, we've learned a lot about people just within Lowndes Hill. Um, and so we are to be commitment, but we do thank you all who have participated so far. Thank you. Amen. Let us say amen. amen. Sister, uh, sister, young sister Brockman there, uh, beautiful job. All of them done a beautiful job in their drawing and, and, and paintings. And if some of y'all are already aware, aware of what she can do, she did a, a drawing of, of, of me uh, the other year for my, for my anniversary. Amen. And uh, we thank God for it. And it's hanging back there on the wall right now. Amen. Amen. We, we want to encourage all of our young people, uh, the talents that they have, the gifts that God has blessed them with, we want to support them and encourage them. Not to lose sight of it, uh, but, but the best way that you can hold on to that gift and that talent is to seek ye first the kingdom of God Amen. and his righteousness. And the word said, in all these things, Amen. let me leave that alone, Amen. will be added unto you. Uh, yes, ma'am. And uh, we, 
look forward to receiving that. That's, that's a blessing, again, as we continue to encourage all of our young people and uh, the things that they're doing. Amen. Thank you so much. All righty. I'm going to ask uh, Minister Brockman, will you come and offer this prayer for us? for our sick and shut in and give thanks to our offering. May we bow. This is another day, God. Another day that you have set before us, oh God. And God, we just thank you so much for allowing us to rise this morning, oh God. For allowing us to be in our right minds, oh God. The blood's still running warm in our veins. Our hearts are still beating right on time. Just as you planned, oh God. So God, we say thank you, Lord. We thank you for just being God and never changing, oh Lord. And so, God, all the names that have been called, all the families that have bereavement, God, all the sick that's around us and among us, oh God, the ones we know about and the ones we don't know about, oh God, those who woke not in their right mind, oh God, those who still seeking you, oh God, God, we ask for your help today. God, we ask that you shower down your blessings on them today, oh God. Yes. And God, you know each one of us individually. And you know what we need. So God, we thank you in advance. Thank you, Lord. God, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, oh God. But whatever it brings, prepare our hearts and minds yes. to receive yes. it, oh God. So, God, we thank you for allowing us to go out to work on these jobs and you keep your arm of protection around us when we're at work. When we go to the various places, oh God. And God, allow us to come back and give back to you, oh God, a portion of what you have allowed us to earn. So, God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. So, Lord, we just ask that you bless the offering, oh God. And God, that you watch over it, oh God. And you allow it to be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom, oh God. God, we ask that you watch over this service today, oh God. We ask that you be in the midst of it, oh God. And Lord, we ask that you allow the Holy Spirit to have its way in this place today, oh God, among your people, oh God. So God, we ask you to bless the preacher and bless the word. These and many other blessings we ask in your name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, he's worthy of our praise. Amen. Yes, sir. How many of you have something that you want the Lord to do for you? All right. How many of you have something that you want the Lord to do for you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whether it's in your home, on your job, in this church. Amen. Amen. Song simply says, Lord, do it. Do 
for me, Lord. Do it for me. Do it for me. Amen. Amen. Lord, do it for me. 
right now. Amen. Thank, thank you, choir. Thank you. Thank you for letting the Lord use you. Amen. We need to just call on him and let him have his way. Amen. Not to worry your patience long. If you have your copy of the word of God, uh, we ask that you would turn with us in the New Testament to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. <clears throat> going to be reading verses 8 through 16. Hebrews chapter 11, beginning at verse 8. There you should find these words so recorded. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should, after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. Mm -hmm. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. Mm -hmm. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, mm -hmm. as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say which such things declare paint plainly, that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, in heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God for he has prepared for them a city. Amen. Just for a few moments, I want to talk from the subject, God's blessings come through faith. Amen. God's blessings come through faith. Amen. My brothers and sisters, in all that we do, we've got to have faith. Amen. Amen. We cannot rely on our understanding. Mm -hmm. yeah. As well as our upbringing, our background, our education may be, if we don't have faith in God, mm -hmm. we don't have anything. Amen. 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 Now, the word of God teaches us uh, in Hebrews 11 and 1, uh, it says, Now, faith is the substance mm -hmm. of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith mm -hmm. is the substance of things hoped for, Amen. 
the evidence of things not seen. I, I don't see it, but I have faith. I can't, you know, I, brother, brother Harrison, sometimes I can't even explain it, Amen. but I have faith. Amen. You see, we, we got to learn to put our trust in God. Amen. Time out of us trying to reason every little detail. Sometimes, sometimes the details is not for us to know. It's simply for us to trust God. You know, a lot of times we get in God's way because we want to figure it out ourselves. We, we know it's amazing that uh, I got tickled a while ago when Sister Sawano was talking about us church folk. Uh, it's, it's amazing how some church folk think they know better than God. But we got to learn to have faith. Believing uh, when we talk about having faith, faith is believing to the point of action. Amen. What do you mean, preacher? It means that you have faith so much in God that it will cause you to go to work. Amen. Action. You know, if, if you believe, then you're going to do something. You, you got to go to work. You got to move. You got to, uh, we got to trust it and, and, and rely upon God, not upon ourselves, uh, not upon the things that we do, the things that we have, but trust in God. And that's why we need to understand that all that we have, all that we will ever receive, all the things that we even think we want, all the blessings of this world come through our faith and obedience to God. Amen. Amen. Now, we may enjoy some things. We may enjoy some things in this world. We're going to have some good days, some good times. Uh, and you say, oh, I got it. I, I don't need it. I, I'm, I, I got everything going my way. But I want to let you know, I'm going to give you fair warning. If you don't have Jesus, Amen. that little journey you own will only last for a little while. That little joy, that little happy high you got, you're going to crash after a while. Amen. If you have Jesus, Amen. you may have, and, and the thing is, the good thing about having Jesus, you're going to have some ups Amen. and some downs. Amen. But through it all, Amen. the songwriter says, I've learned Amen. to lean on Jesus. Amen. No matter what happened, I, I got him. I, I'm, I'm going to believe in him. I'm going to trust in him. I, I, I'm going to put my, my every ounce of energy in believing and knowing that no matter what comes my way, God will make a way. Amen. That's why David said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I'm just going through the valley. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's a whole lot of mess in that valley. But I'm not worried because I'm just going through it. Uh, I, 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 it's a whole lot of ups and downs. It's a whole, whole lot of ins and outs and sickness and trials and tribulation down in that valley. But I'm not worried because God said he will be with me. Yeah. And all I have to do is have faith. Yes, Even when it seems like that everything is up against me. Yes, when it seems like that the whole world is, is fighting against me. Yeah. God said have faith. And know that I got you. Mm -hmm. So I just come by today to tell you, you know, keep the faith. Mm -hmm. Because all of our blessings, God's blessings that, that he showered down upon us comes through our faith in him. Amen. And so my brothers and sisters, I need for you to understand that, that we got to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. We got to get self out of the way. It's time out for us trying to do it our way. Because we, we are just little, finite individuals. We, we, you know, we don't have a whole lot of strength. We don't have a whole lot of, and, and even now, uh, those of us who are, as we are moving on, on in age, uh, not only uh, do we not have a little strength, that little strength we got is getting weaker. Yes, sir. Amen. Our, our footsteps are getting shorter. Mm -hmm. Our eyesight is getting dimmer. 
you know, we, we, and, and yet now we're going to try to prance around here thinking that we know it better than God. Amen. Well, let me share three things with you and I hope you understand that how our blessings come through faith. First of all, first of all, God is bigger than our faith. Amen. God is bigger than our faith. That's what the word of God tells us. That, that, and, and as you read this, we, we, this is the story of Abraham and uh, what was taking place in Abraham's life. Look what uh, Romans 8, 8 says. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he, he should, after receive for an inheritance, obey. Mm -hmm. And he went out not knowing where he was to go. Amen. God is bigger than our faith. God called Abraham to go. He called him to serve. And we got to understand when God calls us, it, it, God is bigger than we are. It, 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 we came out sitting around here talking about, well, I need this and I need that. And I, you know, surrender to the will of God Amen. and watch God work. If you just surrender to his will, you would be amazed at what you can get accomplished. Amen. We, we, the reason we can't get anything done because we're trying to do it ourselves. We're, we're trying to mastermind it when we need to turn it over to the master. Amen. But we need to understand, as the word says, God is bigger than our faith. Look, look here. God calls Abraham. And to really get the story of this, you need to go back, take note of You don't have to look at it now, but just go back. Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 3 says, Now the Lord has said to Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show you. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And then verse 3 says, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Amen. He's letting, he, he called Abraham, gave him a promise. He gave him a promise that he was going to be there. He said, just, just get out of your country, leave from where you are, and go to where I tell you. You got to leave your house, leave your kin folks. Uh, don't worry about that house. Don't worry about what you are already paid for. It. Don't worry about the money that you already got invested in it. He said, just get up and go. Amen. Get up and go. Do what I tell you to do. And, and I love, the, as the scripture said, that when, he went, uh, when God called Abraham, uh, and, and back over in Hebrews, it said when he said he obeyed. Amen. He obeyed. He obeyed. And he went out. And, and, and he did not know where he was going. But look, the promise that Abraham made, uh, the promise that God made to Abraham, uh, he, he promised him a new land. Uh, he promised him to be made a great nation. He promised him he would be blessed. He promised him his name would be made great. He also promised him that all nations would be blessed through him. Amen. Those are promises that that. God made to Abraham during this time. Go back over in Genesis and read that, and you will see those promises that he made to him. And, 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 God, and Abraham had enough faith in God that he obeyed God, and he did what God told him to do. You see, God's blessings went beyond Abraham's faith. Uh, look, look here now. He, did, he, didn't know, he didn't know about uh, heroes of, of the faith uh, to follow him, those that would come after him. Abraham didn't know who was coming after him. Amen. He didn't know about who was going to follow him, just like us. We're in this building right now, but, and, and we're encouraging our young people, uh, and we, we watch them as they come in this building and grown up, grew up in this building, and now we're seeing them, and we don't know what's going to come behind. What we're trying to do, what we need to be trying to do, let me change that. What we need to be trying to do is to set such an example that they will be able to grow from what we have already done. Yes. Amen. We're talking about celebrating black history. Well, you see, we, we, we just got to learn from what our ancestors already gone through. 
Amen. And not saying that we got to go through that same stuff, even though we're still seeing some of it. But we got to we need to learn from it. And that's why I, I looked at that and how our ancestors had enough faith in God that no matter what they were facing, they were willing to stand on the word of God, knowing that there would be a better day Amen. after a while. Amen. So we Abraham, Abraham. Uh, uh, he didn't know the heroes. Uh, when you read this chapter 11 of, uh, of Hebrews chapter 11, you see all the different heroes that was uh, that was listed there. Abel and, and, and Enoch and Noah and all of those that was listed in there. He didn't know who was going to come behind him, but he had enough faith to be obedient to the word of God. Mm-hmm. He didn't know that we would still uh, we would still honor him today. Here we are, thousands and thousands of years later, but we're still honoring Abraham as the father of the nation. He didn't know that his name would appear in the Bible. Those Bible characters, they weren't sitting around trying to uh, live so that somebody would make note of their, what they were doing to put it in the Bible. They didn't even know anything about the Bible. They were just recording what God had commanded them to record. You see, we, we need to just be obedient. Don't worry about it. I may Our name may never be put in anybody's history book. But somewhere along the way, somebody ought to be able to say, I, I saw Jesus Amen. in their life. Amen. 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 You know, one of these old days, uh, and I was sitting thinking about that the other day, the, the church I pastored in North Carolina, uh, we had worked and got up the history of that church, and, and, and I, thought about, I, I thought I still had a copy of it, and I don't. I said, well, I may never see that history again. Nobody may never know what took place while I was there. But that's not for me to worry about. Amen. When I leave this place, nobody may never know. But what we need to learn to do is not worry about what people are looking at us. And that they're looking at Jesus. Amen. You see, when we learn to point people to Christ Amen. and not to ourselves, Amen. then God get the glory. Amen. Then we'll know and understand how faithful we really are to God. We can see how God is moving and working in our lives when we are able to uh, uh, step out of the way and get step out of the way and understand that this, this, thing, this thing we call church, this thing we call worshiping God, it's bigger than we are. We need to get self out of the way. Look, look, look what Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 3 and 20 says. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. You see, still blesses, God still blesses beyond what we ask or what we think. Yes. See, we, 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 we're being blessed. And we're not even asking for specific blessings. Mm-hmm. What you talking about, preacher? God, open your eyes this morning. Amen. That was a blessing right there. Yes. Now, none of y'all, none of y'all woke up about 3 o'clock in the morning. Got down on your knees and prayed a prayer. That God opened your eyes at 6 a.m. No, you, you didn't do that. But he blessed you. Amen. You see, he's showering blessings down upon us because of our faithfulness in him. He sees what we're doing. He knows, he understands, and he said, I'm, I'm going to bless you because you are faithful unto me. So my brothers and sisters, when we're talking about God's blessings coming through our faith, we need, first of all, we need to understand that God is bigger than our faith. God is bigger than our faith. <laughs> Secondly, we need to understand that God is better than our faith. God is better than our faith. Yes, look, 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 look at verse 11, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 11. And it says, through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed. And was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful 
who had promised. You remember, God had already promised them that they would have a child. Y'all know the story. Bible readers, y'all know the story. First of all, the, uh, they had the, the Sarah, even when she had first heard him talking, she laughed about it. Mm -hmm. I'm an old woman. I'm an old woman. I can't be having no children. She laughed about it. But she had to understand it. She had to, and she, then she realized that she had to truly put her faith in God. Amen. And because of that faith, God delivered. And, and, and so we got to understand that God will take care of Sarah's accomplishments by faith. Uh, she bore the promised seed, Isaac. She was well past the age to do so. Uh, she was no young spring chicken. Uh, she was on up in age. But God still allowed her to bring forth a child. But now notice how, how small her faith. Uh, as a mate mentioned a while ago, she laughed uh, when given the promise, when she was given the promise back in Genesis 18 and 12. Uh, she laughed within herself saying, after I am waxed old, and shall I have pleasure? My Lord being old also. Uh, you know, she, she laughed at the fact that here I am an old, old uh, woman and you're talking about me having a child. Uh, and not only that, but then she lied. Amen. Uh, she lied about her laughing. She, in Genesis 18 and 15. Uh, then Sarah denied saying, I laugh not. For she was afraid. And he said, nay, but thou did laugh. Yeah, she, she, she laughed at it. Then she turned around and lied about it. Uh, so, but, 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 but God still honored their faithfulness. God honored her small faith and gave her a son. We got to learn to stand strong and stand tall on the word of God. Uh, the disciples, small faith in a storm. We look over in the gospel of Matthew, uh, gospel of Mark, Mark's gospel, chapter four. We see where the disciples was going through a storm beginning at verse 35. And the word said in the same day. When the evening was come, he said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. Mm -hmm. And when they had went away, the multitude, when they had sent away the multitude, they, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. Mm -hmm. The word says, and there arose a great storm, a wind, and the waves beat unto the ship, mm -hmm. so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillar. Amen. And they awake him and said unto him, Master, uh, do you not care that we perish? Amen. And he rose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. Amen. And the wind ceased, uh, and there was a great calm. And, and he said unto them, uh, uh, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Yeah. Uh, and they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What matter a man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey? Yeah. Yes, my brothers and sisters, even the disciples with Jesus went through a time of having little faith. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we too are going to go through some times of doubt and little faith. Yeah. But we got to understand that God is better than our faith. Mm -hmm. Don't you remember uh, in Matthew's gospel, chapter 17 and verse 20, uh, the word of God says, and Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. Mm -hmm. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, mm -hmm. you shall say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place. And it shall uh, remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Amen. God is just simply saying that if you have faith the size of a grain of mustard seed, yeah. uh, all you got to do is speak and it will be done. Yeah. We got to learn to trust and to lean on Jesus. Yeah. We got to have faith and know that the God we serve is a mighty God. God is able to do all things but fail. Yeah. God will keep his promises. Yeah. He will not let you down. Yeah. 
So when we talk about the blessings that come uh, to us, we got to understand that they come uh, through our faith. We know that God is better than our faith. God is bigger than our faith. Finally, I need to tell you that God's promises will build our faith. God's promises will build our faith. When we look back in Hebrews chapter uh, 11 verses 12 through 19, talk about uh, how God uh, built their faith up in them. Yes, my brothers and sisters, the promises that God make to us will build our faith day by day. The word of God said, therefore sprang there even one and him as good as dead. So many as the stars of the sky in multitude and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. Yes, my brothers and sisters, God is letting us know that all we got to do is trust and believe in him. When we learn to put our faith in God. We may not understand it. We cannot reason it out. Uh, But I want to let you know that the God we serve, uh, he is uh, a mighty good God. The God we serve, uh, he will keep us day by day. Uh, You see, we got to understand uh, by faith, Abraham uh, offered up Isaac. Uh, Yeah, uh, how could uh, this man... uh, Offer up his own uh, his own blood. Uh, God told him uh, to go to the mountain uh, and take up the wood uh, and build an altar. Uh, and they said, "Where is the sacrifice?" Uh, yeah, I need to tell you uh, that Abraham stood faithful, uh, and he looked around. Uh, but before uh, he could bring the uh, axe down on Isaac. Uh, God said, uh, look back here. Uh, I got a ram uh, in the bush. Uh, I want to let you know, Lounge Hill, uh, if you learn uh, to put your faith in God, uh, you may not know how you're going to get out the mess, uh, but if you just trust uh, and believe in the Lord, uh, the Lord will supply uh, a ram in the bush. Uh, He'll fix it for you. Uh, How could Abraham do this? Uh, God promised him uh, this son Isaac, uh, but he stood on the word. Uh, He stood faithful. Uh, Faith will grow in us. Uh, I don't know uh, how God's going to do it, uh, but I'm going to put my faith in him. Uh, Every day uh, that I walk the streets of Greenville, uh, I don't know uh, how God is going to deliver, but I'm going to put my faith in him. Uh, I don't know uh, what tomorrow may bring, uh, but I know uh, who holds tomorrow. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that when I think about When I think about uh, our forefathers uh, and the things they went through, uh, I realize uh, that they stood on the word of God. Uh, They were faithful uh, unto the end. Uh, When I think about people uh, like Frederick Douglass, uh, W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, Harriet Tutman, uh, and all that they went through, uh, they were beat on, uh, whipped, uh, locked up, uh, hoses sprayed on them, uh, dogs sicked on them, uh, Rosie Parks uh, refused to give them a seat. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, stood on the word of God. Uh, even our own uh, Greenville native, uh, Jesse Jackson, uh, stood uh, with the word of God uh, and because of their faith uh, here we are today uh, I'm so glad uh, that God is able uh, to deliver us Uh, I come by to tell you uh, just hold on uh, for a little while Uh, hold on uh, and keep on walking Uh, God is not through with you Uh, he got work for you to do uh, but you got to be faithful Uh, you got to stand uh, on the word of God Uh, Get out of the way. Uh, Let God have his way. uh, Because God uh, is bigger. Uh, God is better uh, than we are. Uh, His promises uh, will build us uh, strength uh, day by day. Uh, You see, every now and then... uh, 
God uh, will allow me to go so far uh, and I look at everything. Uh, I say, I can't make it. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to make it. Uh, I can't get through this. Uh, I will have to sit down. Uh, I can't do it. Uh, I'm done. Uh, I'm done. Uh, I can't work. Uh, I can't do it. Uh, but every now and then, uh, God will uh, put strength in my body. Uh, and when he puts strength in my body, uh, he'll say, get up, Bradley. Uh, I got work for you to do. Uh, keep on marching uh, up the king's highway. Uh, keep on walking. Uh, you may get knocked back, uh, but keep on walking. Uh, every now and then, uh, you got to tell God, uh, just do it. Do it for me. Uh, God bless me uh, right now. Uh, you bless me in the past. Uh, bless me right now. Uh, I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring, uh, but I'm holding uh, onto your hand. Uh, I know you'll do it uh, because you died uh, out on that cross, uh, buried uh, in a borrowed tomb. Uh, but early, early on that third day morning, you got up. With all power in your hand. And because of that. I can stand. Faithful. Deacon Harris said everything ain't going to go my way. But I'm going to stand faithful. I'm not going to get everything I want. But it's not for me to have. I got to stand faithful. I'm here to make you well aware of the power of God. Amen. I'm not here to promote me. I'm not here to promote what I can do. Yes, I'm not here to promote my intelligence. Yeah. I'm here to show you how to find Jesus. Yes, and see, if I show you how to find Jesus and stand faithful on his word then God will be pleased that's what he wants for you he wants you to stand faithful revelation said be thou faithful unto death and he said and if you're faithful unto death you know what he said he'd do he said he'll give you a crown of righteousness I don't know about you but I'm working for my crown. Yeah. I'm working for my crown. Mm -hmm. I'm not worrying about what anybody else is doing. Yeah. I'm working for my crown. Yes, I'm going to do what God commanded me to do. And I guarantee you. Listen to me loud till. I guarantee you. If all of us. Truly committed ourselves. Faithfully to God. And did what God told us to do. Amen. You won't have time. Amen. To be looking to see what somebody else is doing. Amen. Because if you're busy doing what God told you to do. You ain't going to notice what I'm doing anyway. And that's how we're going to grow. God builds our faith. He builds us, strengthens us. When we go through some hard times and he bring, bring us through on the other side and, and you know what, then we look back and we, we wonder how I got over. How did I make it through that? How did I get through? Some of y'all, some of y'all right here in this building, you were laid down on your sick bed because of COVID. But look at you now. Look at you now. And you're going to tell me God ain't good? Some of y'all done had heart attacks. Some of y'all done had strokes. And if it hadn't been you, it's somebody in your family. They had to deal with death. And God walked you through it. And in the midst of it, the only thing he was saying was stay faithful. Stay faithful. And as we stay faithful, he'll keep blessing. Minister Harrison, will you pray? I want to share this with you and uh, go through the prayer, the opportunity 
when you have a chance to walk up here. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I, had, I had to learn how to walk all over. My Lord. See, when you got a chance to walk up here. Have mercy. It's a difference from being back there. Yes, come, sir. Come unto me. Yeah. See, he extended the invitation to come to him. Yes, sir. See, it, it's not so much because they have it. We all have it. Amen. And we're going to be tried with it. Yes, Amen. See, it's not over. Mm. So we have to be aware of what God is saying to us. My Lord, my Lord. So let us pray. Yes, sir. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. For this man's servant. Mm. Thank you to bless his family. Yeah. Have mercy, Lord. We thank you for the word that you inspired him to preach. Yes, yeah, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That we have faith. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Continue to strengthen this leader. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. Allow this man that you have put on the wall of time. Yes. You told us if he do not warn us, mm. woe be unto him. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. But if he warns us, mm. woe be unto us. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He have given you what the Lord has put on his heart. My Lord, yeah. my Lord. And we thank you for him being obedient. My yeah. Lord, my Lord. He have challenged you where you are in your spiritual life. Yeah. That's right. And it's serious. Serious than you can ever imagine. Amen, amen. All because you're walking now. Yes. Just a matter of seconds you can be on your back. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. Yeah. But we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. For Jesus. Yes. Jesus came here to show us yes. how to get to you. Yes, Lord. Through the word that you have put in him and on him. Yes. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Now, the only way we understand it, Lord. Mm. That you intercede in us. That's right. Grow us. Yes, Lord. Through the power of your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Continue to teach us. Yes, sir. Your will and your way. Yes. yes Lord. Thank you. That you may get the glory. Mm -hmm. And all the honor. Yes. Go with those that are sick. Yes, yes Lord. Among us. Yes. Touch their ailing bodies. Yes, yes. Right now, Lord. Go with the bereaved. Yes. All of these things you said will come forth. That's yes. right. Nothing that you have said yes. has went out, went out void. Yes, sir. So we thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. For your word. Yes, my sir. Lord, my Lord. Continue to go with us. Yes, yes. Lord. As we march mm -hmm. up the King's Highway. Yes, sir. Lead us, Lord. Lead us. Yes. Guide us yes. and direct us. Direct us. And we'll be so ever careful mm -hmm. to give you all the honor yes, sir. and all the praise. Yes, because it's in your son Jesus, in Jesus who died for our sins. Yes. And we thank you. Thank you. For Jesus. For Jesus. In Jesus' name. In yes. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you just remain where you are, we're, we're going to, y'all go ahead and go back to your seats. Amen. Amen. Let us look to God to be dismissed. Now may the grace, the sweet communion of our Lord and our Savior Jesus the Christ, may he rest, rule, and abide with us all, both now and forever. Let us all sing. Amen. You may be seated as the ushers come to usher you out.